cactus and succulent growers, it's Lynn. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about ideal cactus plants that you can grow in a window. Now, this is a special video request by my wonderful friends and subscribers, Danny Rose and Rye Catcher. So, hi guys, thank you for the video request. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the desert types of cacti, not the epiphytic cacti. That's for another video. Now, desert cacti like plenty of sunshine and the best window to have these cacti in your house will be either a south facing window or a south east or west facing window. Now, if you've only got a north facing window that doesn't get any sun, then what I recommend you can do if you want to grow cacti is to install a special plant LED grow light. And there's plenty of these on Amazon now. I've got quite a few grow light videos on my channel, so do check them out. And in the winter time, you only have, need to have these lights on for about four to, four to five hours just to stimulate the natural winter sun. And then in the spring and summer months, you can have them on for about six to eight hours to stimulate the sun. Now, although ideally desert cacti like to be kept cool over the winter months, I know from experience that the cacti I'm going to be recommending in this video will still flower and grow well in a window indoors if they're overwintered in a warm room. Now, I actually grow, the, the cacti I'm recommending in this video, I've grown many years since I was 12 years old and for most of, of my life, up until probably the past 10 years anyway or 15 years, I have had them out, out even in a greenhouse or in a polytunnel. But before that, I've grown them on a windowsill indoors. I mean, when I was young, I had them all or when I was growing up, all on the windowsills in my mum and dad's house. And my mum and dad's house was always very warm in the winter time. These are very easy to get to flower um, in the spring and summer months, even when they haven't been over winter cool. So although I don't have these particular plants in a, in a window at the moment, um, I have had plenty of experience of these ones I'm recommending that will grow well all through, all through the, the spring and summer well and flower, even if they're overwintered in a, in a warm room. Now, number one I'd recommend has got to be Mammillaria. Now, it's the most popular and possibly the largest genus of cactus. There's around 200 species of, of different types of Mammillaria. Most of them are small, globular, and uh, they sort of can get a little bit bendy as they get older as well. They sort of lean over the side of the pots. And they also can be clumping cacti as well, growing into lovely mounds when they mature. They're very long living and they've got to be one of the most easiest cacti to get to flower and very easy cactus to find at garden centres as well. Many different varieties. They have beautiful little flowers, like in little rings all around the top of the crown. So they definitely have to recommend Mamilaria. Lots of beautiful varieties of that. Very easy cactus and perfect for a windowsill. Now, number two has got to be Raybusha. Now, this group of cacti are absolutely perfect for windowsills and great if, if you're in an apartment and you really don't have a lot of space. They're very popular cactus, very easy to get in, in, a, in a lot of the garden centres. And they're sort of small globular and some of them form clumps as well. And they have the most incredible of flower displays in the spring and into the early summer absolutely stunning the flowers last for a good few days as well and an absolute abundance as you can see here and many 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 different varieties difficult to say exactly how many there is in the species because you've also got the groups of cactus such as sulco raybusia alosteria and medio labivia and they sort of come under the raybusia type of group as well but they're all amazing amazing cacti to grow for windowsills and again perfect if you don't have a lot of space now number three will be astrophytum and this is a, a lovely genus of cactus so they're, they're known for their gorgeous shape of their bodies and there's about six species in this genus and some of them are, are easier to grow than others so if you're a complete beginner I'd probably start off with, for example, the Astrophytum myriostigma or the Capricorn because they're, they're small growing Astrophytums and they're very easy to get to flower as well. The Astrophytum ornatum is a bit more of a larger growing one. And as you can see in this photo here, this is my large Astrophytum ornatum that is, is possibly about 30 years old. It's a big plant, but it did stay very small for a long time. But all the other types of Astrophytums are all very, quite small growing and beautiful, beautiful 
beautiful flowers on them. So that's another lovely easy bloomer to um, get to, to flower if you've got it in a windowsill and you, you keep this plant indoors all year. Now number four will be Echinopsis. And when I'm talking about the Echinopsis cacti, I'm talking about the ones that are the bowel shaped ones, commonly called the hedgehog cacti. Not the, the tall growing ones, the, the trichocereus cacti, because they're very large growing. But the small Echinopsis, such as the, the, the bowel shaped ones, absolutely perfect for windowsills. Excellent bloomers, very easy to get in garden centres. And there's around 100 different types of the, the, the Echinopsis hedgehog cacti. The most common one being Echinopsis subdenudata that has the most amazing huge white blooms, often very heavily scented, very, very stunning. And you also get the lovely bright pink coloured blooms echinopsis and the and the lighter coloured ones and absolutely stunning you also get the lilac purple coloured ones as you can see here in this video i have quite a lot of echinopsis cactus plants in the polytunnel and uh, many of them I had in window seals over the years and they're very readily bloomers. Very easy to find in garden centres as well. Very easy to propagate because they have lots of pups. And the more they mature, the more they pup out. Just twist a pup off and plant it up. And uh, I can just highly recommend Echinopsis because they are just wonderful and they're fantastic beginners plants as well. If you're new to growing cacti, highly recommend uh, Echinopsis genus. Now, number five will be Gymnocalycium. And these are a great group of cacti, commonly called the chin cacti. Small plants as well. And they have the most incredible of flowers on them of many different colours. Most common being red and pink and white. Absolutely beautiful. And there's around 70 different varieties of Gymnocalycium. But the most commonest ones will be Gymnocalycium baldianum and more commonly now is well, Gymnocalycium myhina vincii. Beautiful, beautiful bloomers. And they're very easy to find in the garden centres as well. There are some types of Gymnocalycium that be less likely to flower in the spring if you don't give them a call overwintering. So if you're growing them on a windowsill, they may not be as easy to get to flower as other types of Gymnocalycium, but the Gymnocalycium baldianum and Gymnocalycium myhina vincii are very easy to get to flower if you can't give them a core rest period in the winter time. So they're ones I highly recommend for growing in windowsills. And there's still many of the other Gymnocalyciums that are very easy bloomers as well if you're growing them indoors. Now number six and the last one on here that I'm recommending is Lophophora. And this is my ultimate favourite cactus, or one of them anyway, it's hard to choose. I just absolutely love Lophophora. And the most common one will be Lophophora williamsii. And there's probably around four species of Lophophora. And the flowers are like little small pink flowers and, and you get some white flowers as well. And it's just a gorgeous cactus. It's a spineless cactus. And it just has little woolly tufts instead of spines. It's very unique, very wacky, almost alien like it's there's just something very special about Lophophora and uh, unfortunately in some parts of the US it's not legal to grow these cacti and that's because the, the cacti contain psychoactive alkaloids called, me called mescaline but luckily here in Ireland where I live and in the UK and in many parts as well of Europe and that it, it's, Ill it's legal to grow but it's obviously Ill illegal to consume. But it's, it's, one of the, it's one cacti that is absolutely gorgeous to grow. It's a beauty and it's again very, very easy to get to flower. I find from April up until late September, I've even had them flower in October. They will flower multiple times throughout the year gorgeous little flowers and because they are so slow growing they are perfect for window sills they're absolutely gorgeous very easy to, to get to come into seed as well and get to sow from seed very slow growing but perfect for space so if you've only got 
a, a small window sill, they are great. And I love the fact that they are just so unique, so wacky. There's not any other cactus that is like it. It's the little woolly tufts and everything. I just love them. So obviously it's probably not the best one to recommend if you're living in the US, unfortunately, but I can't not mention this cactus because I just think it's a lovely, it's a great even for beginners as well. I find it's it's just such an easy going cactus. You do have to make sure you keep it absolutely dry over the winter. So don't be tempted to water it at all because they're very, they can be rot prone and they do need that dry winter rest. Ideally they're like a cool winter rest, but as I mentioned, it will still flower even in a, a windowsill that it's been kept warm during the winter. The trick is that you must keep it dry during the winter because it's, it can be rot prone. Other than that, it will flower readily for you, for you from the beginning of the spring, right from April, right until late, late September. So again, a gorgeous cactus to grow. So there you go, guys. That's my um, best cactus plants to grow in winter seals. There's many more as well. Like I can mention Parodia. Some are large growing, but many are small. Lovely, easy bloomers as well. And um, some people might recommend the Apuntia, the prickly pears, but I wouldn't because in my experience, they can be very large growing. And um, they can also grow a little bit stretched out. They tend to grow in the winter if in windows, um, even if you do keep them dry. So that wouldn't be one personally in my experience to recommend. But all these are the ones I recommend are great easy bloomers and many as well very good for beginners so um, i hope you enjoyed that little video guys and also down below in the video description i'm going to put some links down there on many of the cacti i'm recommending in this video what if you want to see what they look like in flower do check out them videos the i'm sure you'll agree they're absolutely stunning bloomers and um if you haven't done already, don't forget to subscribe. Do click the notification bell to so be notified and upload new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon. And do check out the many articles on my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. And before you go, please give this video a like and do leave a comment in the video description down below. And even if it's just a heart or a smiley face, because every comment really helps the algorithm and helps to get my um, channel recognised more on YouTube. I want to wish you all an absolutely incredible cactus-powered day.